Hello and welcome back to Hunting with Foxes. This is episode 7 and the final episode of this series. It's the Europa League final. But before we get into any action, I just want to say, if you haven't watched the last episode, be sure to click the description below and go to the last episode and watch it before you watch this. Because there will be spoilers, spoiler alerts in this video. So I'll give you three seconds from now to click off and then click on the other one and then come back. Okay, so you've done that now, that's good. Hello and welcome back to Hunt the Foxes, Episode 7, Europa League Final. And we've won the league. We won the league last episode with two wins against West Brom and Southampton. It was it was pretty much easy, but um, it, it did help with Leicester bottling it, qu bottling, it, bottling it quite easily. I can't even speak today. Six points clear, we finished. Uh, we finished on two draws, which I'll show you in a minute. But obviously, in real life, Leicester finished ten points clear. Off the Gunners, not Tottenham because, yeah, Tottenham bottled it, didn't they? We successfully did the challenge, and as you can see, Danny Rose, 8.16 average match rating. That is absolute insanity. So we'll go through some player stats and um, average match rating and all that. So goals-wise, Harry Kane is to tops the chart, 16 in 27. Obviously, this is from the start of the save, where I when I started, so the 14th of... February. I mean, Ali and Eriksen chipping in, also Chadley, Lamella and Son, so you can see the midfielders chipping in with some goals. Assist-wise, Danny Rose and Kieran Trippier up with uh, both fullbacks up, uh, with nine assists, and then you got Kane and Dembele, so that's that's pretty good. You'd think Eriksen would have more than three assists, but his average match rate, as you can see, is 7.5, so it's very good. Uh, Danny Rose tops that, Kyle Walker's close second. So as you can see, you have top three all fullbacks. Um, which kind of shows what I'm trying to do with this Spurs team, the philosophy, get the fullbacks forward and all that. And Lloris has got the worst uh, match rating out of them all. As you expect, keepers don't normally get a very high match rating. So just to finish with um, the Premier League lark, we we, do, drew, we drew two games, West Ham and Newcastle 1-1. One, one. Uh, Harry Kane scored and Son scored against Newcastle. We played a very inexperienced team as you can see for the West Ham game we we played some of the youngsters uh, Tom Carroll got a shot Anoma got a chance uh, Carter Vickers Bentaleb even played and for Newcastle that was even more on uh, Anoma and G Mason Winks uh, Carl Vickers again starting because look I said in the last episode our schedule was ridiculous we play like six games in May um, even before the cup final. So I wanted to rest some players and thankfully we've done that. So let's get on to the Lazio final. Before I go through my start 11, I just want to say uh, the little th little thing on the bottom right hand side of, of their previous uh, games. They've won a lot 2-0. They won PSG 2-0. They won against Inter 2-0. They won again against PSG 2-0. And won 1-0 against Carpi and then lost 2-0 to Fiorentina. And they played thankfully on the same day as, day, day as me. So... They won't have got any more rest than me, but now we pl that, now they play us. Obviously, Ch uh, Champions League final. I was gonna say Europa League final. We have, we've I've got good history of Europa League. Obviously, last uh, last series, Bill and Bowen. If you haven't watched that, then go and check it. But just to spoil it. We did win the Europa League in the last episode. I want to see where it is at. It's still it's obviously at the the stadium where Liverpool lost three one to Sevilla at uh, St Jacob Park. Not not a massive stadium. Still forty thousand for. For the Europa League final, it was a decent capacity, and I thought the stadium was very nice. Anyway, on to our final, and the most important final of them all, really. So, Lloris is in goal, and a back four of, you, you know the drill by now. Rose, for, uh, we're going from left to right. Rose, Vertonghen, Alvireld, and Walker. Dyer in that anchor man role. Then Bele in the box-to-box. -box. Then the forward four, I'd say. Eriksen, Ali, Lamella, and Kane. Harry Kane, deep line forward. He is on some form. Look at that, four goals in his last four games because he wasn't selected for the Newcastle game. That, that comment from episode four, I think. Ali Nutnag. It was, a, it was a decent comment, a very good comment indeed. And hopefully we can play as well. Good, the instructions are fine. And let's get on with the game. Quick note, Nash Chadley's injured and we're playing our strange away kit. I don't, I'm not a fan of a purple away kit. Obviously they've got some players because they're playing football, but Miroslav Close is probably their most danger man. Uh, they've got De Vrij, uh, Philippe Anderson, who's very good. Uh, Harry Kane is looking to gain confidence, which is great. And we're underway at Sir Jacob Park in Basel, Switzerland. There you go. Knowledge. Knowledge. 
That's why I got a D in geography, all right? But if we can win this final, it'll be terrific. And as I speak, we scored the opening goal. Ericsson floats in. I was talking about him pre-game, saying he's only got three assists. But that's his fourth. And Eric Lamella notches up a Europa League final goal. And that is the perfect way to start. But obviously, Liverpool, Liverpool went 1-0 up due to Daniel Sturridge's wonder goal. And they lost 3-1. So let's not do a Liverpool, basically. Let's not bottle it, basically, you know. I say basically way too much, but Ericsson floats it in, Lamella heads it down and, and scores. You wouldn't expect Eric Lamella to score a header. That's a perfect way to start a Europa League final, or any final. I drink too much. Not, not alcohol, it's fine. Lamella picks up the ball. He's on a yellow card though, so let's not get sent, sent off. But we're just passing it around very confidently. The Tongan tries to do a flipping Steven Gerrard ball and fails. Kane into Ericsson. Ericsson's through. Lamella. Oh, it's a chance. Machete with a good double save there. And we could be 2-0 up. And I was saying about Liverpool not taking their chances. We need to score that, this second goal. It's vital. Dembele now on the ball. Ali. He's got Walker always on his right-hand side. Walker cuts it back to Lamella. Lamella wants to shoot. Oh, Eric Lamella is turning up. Eric the apple. Because that's... What his name is basically translated. Eric the Apple. The Apple scores his second goal of the Europa League final. And Lamella's on fire. Your defence is terrified and Lamella's on fire. It doesn't really work, but I've, I've, I've said it, so I've got to continue it. 2 and up. I'm surprised Lazio beat PSG in the semi-final to make it this far. But I am very happy with his first half display. It, it, we're into half time and we go 2 0 up, or we're 2 0 up, should I say? They've, uh, they've not had a shot of this second half and we could, we could make it free here. Dembele, he's brought down by Maori, 36 year old, he's clearly feeling the pace already. And Lamella's running to get that ball to make it his hat trick. Can he do it? Put it bottom left, I'm going for. Put your predictions in the description below and fuck me. Lamella, you missed a penalty to score your hat-trick. I would say it's unlucky by Lamella, but it's an absolutely awful penalty and it's easy for Machete to make the save. But I'm going to make a couple of changes. I'm going to bring off Eric Dyer because he's a bit... He's, he lacks fitness. He, I don't know why. I, I want to see his fitness. I might have probably checked this. Natural fitness is 14 and stamina's 13. Stamina's on the way up, so um, it, it needs to... It needs to be better, really. We've got the ball now. Ali, can he slip through Kane? No, he doesn't. He gets tackled. Now, can Lazio counter? And that is an amazing name, and I cannot say that. But Larice makes a very comfortable save. And that's their only their second shot. It's two on target, so respect. Bentaleb, Dembele, Dembele. Lamella, can he score his hat trick? Oh, Eric Lamella, that is absolutely stunning. His eighth goal of the season. And boy, oh boy, he has turned up for this final. He's not got any drugs. He's just performing like an absolute superstar out there. Lamella picks it up just outside the box and fires it with his vicious left foot into the bottom corner. And that is how you do a final, ladies and gentlemen. A hat trick. When I say no drugs, because he's in Argentine. Maradona. But we don't cheat. We are clean ass. And now Walker comes on the right-hand side. Lamella heads it to Ali. Lamella! Oh, he's at the bar! He could have had four or five today. He's on absolute, absolute fire. Just flames coming out of his hair. He's on a 9.2 rating. Get him on a 10 rating. But 10 seconds to go. We're winning 3-0. This has been a really comfortable cup final. If you can see the stats, we've had 20 shots to their two. And we've done it. Tottenham have won the Europa League. 3-0 against Lazio. And we have done the double. I could have easily... I could have done the trip, uh, treble, but we uh, we lost to Sheffield United in the FA Cup. We've lifted the Europa League. And Eric Lamella, Eric the Apple, the Apple, whatever you want to call him... It's just stunning. A uh, well, really good display. A really comfortable, sexy display. 3-0, three, three goals. It's it's perfect. Clean sheet. And we've been given some monies. I can, can I say, Spurs' finances are absolutely fed naughty. They're filthy. 124 million in the balance. I, I want to continue the save. I'll probably continue offline and maybe post updates on Twitter. So that was Spurs' first Europa League or Europa Cup win since 1984. We've, we're breaking some records. The league was 1961 and now 1984. We are just breaking records for for days, really. Jermaine Defoe, Tottenham favourite Jermaine Defoe. 
Really? Favourite? Come on. But we've won the Europa League in one an amazing way to end the series. So since we took over just after that Ma uh, Manchester City game, we have only lost two games to Spurs boss. One was against fucking Sheffield United and the other one was against Stoke. How, the, how annoying is that? We could have easily gone unbeaten. If you do enjoy this little series, a uh, challenge thing, then drop a like. Hit 20 likes maybe. Last episode, let's hit some 20 likes. Mad targets, you know. Um, if you haven't subscribed, also do that. And if you have any challenges you want me to do on this channel, because uh, I'm considering uploading three times a week instead of the normal two. So yeah, any challenges you have, be sure to put them in the comments and I'll see if I can do them. Or, you know, whoever, like, the comment gets the most votes up or whatever, I might do that challenge. Or even Twitter me, tweet me, not Twitter me, what am I doing? I'm not a fucking old granddad and all that. Uh, at the Anchorman YT, the, the, my Twitter link is always in the description below. So if you don't, I like, know how to spell it or whatever. It's always in the description below, so just click that and then boom, you're you're on my t you're on my profile basically. So um, yeah, comments comments below. I want a challenge. I want more challenges. But I'm going to start a long term save uh, next week. I don't I don't exactly the date at the moment. It might be Monday. It might be uh, probably will be Thursday though. So a week's time after this is uploaded. So hope hope everyone's okay with that and all that. So until next time on this channel as the Anchorman, I'll see you then. Goodbye.